Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I care, thank you very much. Well, hey! <laughs> Hello here at Luke Rhodes. Luke Rhodes is back. He's having a bit of a filming day. Well, a bit of a filming afternoon. Um, right, why is Luke Rhodes here? So, we're here because the ZX10 Superbike, uh, Exotica, the absolute, the absolute uh, sex, that sensual, exotic, just... An absolute warplane, a fucking fighter jet on the road. Uh, yeah, fighting in that super bike. Holy shit! Um, her, her front brakes. Uh, her front brakes. She's used up all the material on the factory discs, and there's now a judder in the uh, front brakes and uh, the front super bike brakes so we're going to replace them here at Luke Rides and let's get into the video of what uh, we'll be replacing the front discs of the super bike for EBC super bike brake, brake discs mmm gotta watch it yeah it's showtime <laughs> Bitcoins is back with that a second video here to you at the channel of these yummy and sexy EBC brick discs for the ZX10 Superbike. Uh, so we're going to go through them, and these are the XC series from EBC, which out of the EBC brake discs we've seen so far, on even the front picture here um, at the Christ, the XC series are. Uh, look, does look like the most high performance, uh, definitely looks like it is there to, to be the best dissipating heat. Okay, so let's go into uh, these particular EBC Superbike brakes here at uh, Luke Christ, the discs themselves. So this is the XC series. So what you're going to notice about the XC series is when looking at the actual disc, oh is that the edges of the, the edges of the disc are concave so they're not uh, it's not once a one it's complete circle it's actually wavy around the sides um, around the entire circumference of the brake disc um, and that is a high performance aspect um, because for some reason when you have that sort of shape is that it can help dissipate heat at a faster pace so that is a high performance touch there uh, by EBC, um, Brembo um, have moved, um, Brembo have their own interpretation of what the circumference of a brake dish should look like. So when you look at Brembo's, uh, they're usually just a solid circle, but then Brembo's, um, they use different engineering there. Also, when you look at the EBC brake disc, is that just even looking at it, you have quite a lot of cutouts into the stainless steel rotor part. Uh, and Wow, I mean, that's a lot of cutouts. This is about dissipating heat. Why would that dissipate heat? Well, if you have a solid piece of metal, imagine how much time it would take for that solid piece of metal or aluminium to dissipate heat. But if you then have small cutouts where more airflow, more, more air can get to the, the actual metal or aluminium itself. That's incredible then that helps the aluminium dissipate the heat faster as it has more area to throw the heat into the air. So that is quite an interesting touch there. So EBC use their, their, their patented, which is to their design specifications, square drive button system. So the idea of the square drive button system is that even at a high, high performance, this will eliminate the potential of rotor warp, brake disc warp in your superbike uh, brakes. And considering when these uh, modern superbikes, the manufacturers try to limit them, but if you actually take the speed limiters away, these superbikes um, from Kawasaki, BMW, Ducati, even Yamaha, they're crossing over 200 miles an hour, which is absolutely insane. So you need 
discs that you can trust that when you are at that sort of speed um, on the racetrack, on the track, is that when you hit on the anchors, you know your brake, your brake disc is going to be able to take that punishment and not give up on you and begin juddering. So that is pretty high performance there. Um, the actual rotor, the disc, so this entire section here, the where the pads touch is stainless steel, not steel, stainless steel. So it uh, looks good. But also that was more expensive for EBC to manufacture it, and you just don't know whether the stainless steel has better properties um, in high performance. The center of the alloy is, uh, the, so this is the hub here. All of the hub is made out of lightweight, is a lightweight hub aluminium design. So, uh, and the hub itself is aluminium, not stainless steel, the hub itself is aluminium. So the aluminium is lighter material, um, which saves weight, which is a nice touch on a superbike because you do notice that superbikes are uh, are incredibly uh, all about uh, awesome manufacturers build their superbikes to take to make them the lightest 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 motorcycles um, in the world. So, and there's a, a performance aspect to that. Um, also more expensive to manufacture as well. You can imagine EBC aluminium is more expensive than steel. Excellent! Um, so that's great um, and should be very sturdy. This is just is fantastic. Um, also, um, this also has EBC's uh, fully floating rotor system um, as well. Fully floating rotor system. Um, and there are actually YouTube videos on that, which is absolutely fascinating. Um, so, let's see the overall thickness. Let's see the thickness of these Vava Shakshi XC series. What sort of thickness will we get on the XCs? That is an interesting question. Well, would you look at that? Seven millimeters. Seven millimeters on the EBC XC series superbike discs. When you actually look at the discs themselves, got this foam pads as well. Really good feel to them. If you actually look at the sheer thickness, wow, that is very thick. No, you can in the real world you can see um, in Luke rides that the factory superbike brake discs are, are a lot thinner around the edge compared to the brand new high performance superbike EBC XCs. You can see, wow, that is quite a difference. That's quite a difference. And you then go to the factory discs. In the real world, that is a lot thinner. Whoa. giving you that super bike braking performance. You know, these these super bikes are designed to do, you know, literally the manufacturers limit them, but if you take the speed limiters off the modern super bikes, they're crazy. They're hitting over 200 miles an hour and uh, you, you need to stop at that sort of speed or you uh, are going to crash. So your super bikes have a, a lot of work cut out for them to, to cut, their, cut that supersonic speed when you need the anchors. Uh, it's cool, we're gonna go through this now. Uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Roll the intro, way. <laughs>
Ah, so Lucros hopes you enjoyed that one. It's lovely. Absolutely stunning to have that gorgeous, sexy gold accent um, as well. That's very super bike. If you buy a modern ZX10 super bike, you can actually buy Brembo's with that gold accent. Um, quality just superb. Yeah, really good. It's got that uh, free floating. Uh, there's a technical name for it free floating something or other. And a really high spec, lovely design, uh, drill discs as well, as you can see, for cooling um, to make them cool quicker. Um, on a, uh, you know, being a super bike, she's going to be hard on the brakes, she is going to be super hard on the brakes and then let go. So, very, very strong, uh, powerful disc, disc brakes made by UBC. Ah. And uh, for super bikes, and yeah, gorgeous, love the design. Gorgeous gold accent, lots of technology in the brake disc itself, drilled holes around for cooling, and it's got the wavy disc effect um, for that generation of ZX10 Superbike. And uh, yeah, really special, special bit of kit. The only thing more special than that is Brembo. Um, but Brembo don't make, they did this, don't make brake discs for the fourth generation Kawasaki Superbike, they just they just don't seem interested in doing that. Um, so it has to be EBC uh, for that year of ZX10 Superbike, and yeah, uh, outstanding, Luke Rides wouldn't, wouldn't recommend. Um, if you can't get Brembo discs, then stick with EBC for your ZX10 Superbike, and um, gorgeous, lovely packaging, really well presented. And look at the just the sheer size of those discs, they're freaking massive, and uh, yeah, really sexy, very exotic, and um, really worthy of the ZX10 super bike. So, Luke Price is really happy, got to, to see that in flesh. And um, thanks for watching, yeah, <laughs> see you later. The way we the little rascal has spirit, as was it? This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid. Is Luke Christ gonna get his coffee drink? Coffee drink Italian? Ain't that just typical? <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers for